You startled me. I wasn't prepared for that. Not a smooch on the lips. You scared me. I was scared. Or startled. Why you scared yourself? Yeah. No. Yeah. Older, I don't think so. Oh, I can't but then she grabbed my face and puckered her lips and I was like, oh my God. I said, oh my God, I'm gay. And <laughs> it was really funny. That shit was all on the motherfucking tear, bitch. <laughs> bitch ass up. Aye, Shalene, fat ass. I hate my life. I'm getting ready to use it that. Oh, I'm affecting my mind. Stop directing me, you're not an against. I can't do that anymore. That's why I tell you, Betty Parker, how to make the game. Better than I can. What is going on you guys this video can I just start off by saying there might have already been a sneak peek at the beginning of this because it is such a crazy My first week. Oh my god of this new bus schedule guys My first week of this new bus schedule has been insane my first week at my full-time job It's been hard. I am struggling. I'm having a difficult time. You're beefy bitch. You're beefy girl I've been having a colossal time, but you know what I'm not complaining about do you know what I'm not complaining about? It was the fact that I have a fucking job, guys. It has been so insanely difficult. When I started streaming at 17 years old, and this was my full-time J-O-B before my brain cancer diagnosis, I was so grateful. I was so thankful. I was so honored. I was so blessed. I appreciated and respected every day. It's definitely been an up-and-down battle, and then it got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore. And I had to get a full-time job, my first full-time job since I was in my life ever. Um, it's been crazy, and this is just the first week of that job. I'll say whatever the fuck else I said, but it's really a crazy video, guys. I a homeless lady like tried kissing me. There was a stabbing that almost happened on the bus today. Um, like it, it's just been uh the, the most insane week of my life. <laughs> I'm so nervous for what the rest of the year could possibly look like. <laughs> Happy Sunday vlog. And guys, these are going to be coming every week. This is just one week of what happened. Make sure you subscribe and that you follow your bitch on Twitch. The best, the best content I have ever made is coming, I promise you. And it's going to be on a weekly basis. <laughs> I'm so scared. Guys, that like insane, very sped through clip that I just went through. I, I'm probably going to edit that down. You probably didn't even see it. Thank God. But like I basically did like a little recap of what my uh, week has been. It's just been one week of insanity. But because I had to get on the bus so early, literally I get on the bus at 5 a.m. I think that's why I'm seeing like just outlandish shit. The craziest shit I have ever gazed upon. Like honestly, like I knew the neighborhood was bad. <laughs> like obviously I literally made a video saying that I moved to the hood. Obviously I knew that, but guys... Come on. Also, look at the rainbow. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. It's a fucking bummer because I see a little rainbow. Very vaguely right there. Wow. She's so gay and glamorous. She's so gay, it's glamorous. I um, I want to do a little recap again, but have it be a little more chill. I, mean, I probably just cut off whatever the fuck I was just saying in that last clip. But basically this morning, I, I got on the bus. As I was waiting at the bus stop, this is fucking insane a woman like slammed on the gas and was her boyfriend i think he was hitting her i don't know what he was doing what fell out of the car because she was trying to get away from him i don't know if she was hitting him i asked her if she was okay she didn't say anything and like i wanted to ask if she's okay just because like i have been in abusive relationships i wanted to just give like context I'm like oh my god girl are you okay i'll play clips of that oh my god what is happening Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? This world is fucking terrifying. Dude, what is happening? Oh my fucking god. 
<laughs> like everyone's filming. What the fuck is going on? He was screaming at the top of his lungs as she drove over the curb. What the fuck is wrong with this world? That is crazy. Are you okay? Are you all right? Sorry. Yikes. Just wanted to make sure. Side from garbage can lady and then the car battle. It's been a quiet morning. <laughs> but in the neighborhood that I live in, guys, that changed very quickly. This uh uncomfortable situation happened on the bus. I'm probably gonna explain it and and then I'll play because I do I do explain it a little bit crazy. Yikes. That was uh, the brawl happening there. I asked if she was okay, and I don't think she even responded. If she did, I don't think I heard her. Just so scary. I was like, holy shit, what is going on? It was the craziest thing. I was like, what the fuck? I, I also don't know if I filmed it, but as I was getting on the bus, me and a guy, I don't know if I think I was filming, me and a guy were talking about it happening, and, and I was like, what the fuck? I asked her if she was okay, but he, but she didn't say anything. And he said, "Yeah, I wonder what was happening." And I and I said, honestly, he was probably hitting her. Um, like like I I said, I've been in situations like that. Like it's not shocking if crazy shit goes down. And and he, and he said, "Well, shit. If it was me, I would not have laid off the gas. I would have kept driving." And can I be honest? <laughs> I like did not want to agree, but I did because fuck that. Don't put your hands on someone you're in a relationship with. What the fuck is that? Like I said, dealt with that for many many years and a couple of relationships in the past. It's just trauma drama. Mommy doesn't like it. It's fucking gross. Look at the waterfall. And then when I actually get on the bus, this is just today. This is the, all that I'm talking about today. This just happened this morning. When I actually get on the bus, there is two dudes, two black men. They were fighting and having a brawl. Apparently one was bragging about having a knife back into books. Like that big ass dude fucked with that Mexican. I wish he would have gave me like that. I poked his ass right there in that door with this little blade I got. Now I poke your ass too, bitch. Run up and your fat ass dung up. And said he was going to stab the other guy and kept calling the other guy a, a faggot and kept calling him gay and all these other things. And I felt really bad because apparently the, the, the heavier set guy was like homeless. And he kept saying he takes it up the ass and he likes it up the butt and all this other, kept calling him a faggot, all, all this other crazy shit. I don't know, that'll play. Go on, me and take baths. Okay, you chuck that in. I hate riding. You will find your dumb ass part. something to do. Homeless and you will blow. I really do. Yeah. Real talk, baby. You already know. And you gay. And you like men. You come to your room. Your homie wants you to go to your place. You playing in the bed. You penitence with another man. What is going on? His name was Reggie Bill. They called him Regina. Shut your bitch ass up. Regina. Tell him another man you would you, you would like to paint his phone. It was very uncomfortable. I did not want a stabbing to happen right in front of me. I looked to the guy and I said, just ignore him. Just ignore him. Please don't, I don't want to watch a stabbing happen. Thankfully he got off the bus. It's just really mean, I'd say. Like he kept saying the guy was smelly and like he did smell. But if he's homeless, he can't fucking bathe, dude. Don't make fun of him for it. What the fuck? I w it was just the nastiest thing to ever see. And then previous two times during the week, there was one time, very funny, I had a lady, she kept talking to me about turkeys. I <laughs> Guys, ignore my lie. I brought up turkeys. I like wanted to get a response out of her because she was like mumbling. I'll have it start off. It's just her mumbling crazy words for like five minutes. So I'll go, yo, I can't see those. I've been in better comparison. 
Hey, he's amazing. He's your area. Well, yeah, I drive and like drive the walls and I see you see us. I'll go under you. See, all that. <laughs> Son of a turkey devil. She said nothing, and I was deeply disappointed, but then she does say something. <laughs> Who are you waving to? I was making a joke. Oh. Not with a can. Except the party's friends don't suck. Oh my god. Guys, I really have the worst life. <laughs> I really do. And after listening to the mumbling, I was like, what can I do to, to see if I can get a reaction out of her? I went, turkey devil, diva, donkey, mother goblin, fuck. And she said nothing. And then there was one time she did hear it, and then it started a cascade of turkey conversation. <laughs> the turkeys are casting. Is it Thanksgiving? Almost. Oh, is that what you said? Yes, come on. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. We love a Thanksgiving wow, okay. celebration. Wonderful, wonderful. Give us all the turkeys. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. We, we, fantastic. A turkey devil, diva, donkey, mother goblin, fuck. Oh. Isn't that poetic? It's the art. The, it's art, of, the art of life. Turkey devil, diva, donkey, mother goblin, fuck. It's my catchphrase. Tell her that we're ready for Thanksgiving. I just chill. So lightning. Yeah. Who is she? Who are we talking about? <laughs> her name's Autumn. You don't know her name? Her true love. Her true name? Her Christian name. Her Christian name. What? Her Christian name. What? She's had two different names before, before Autumn. But I've done that. Wow. No, she's so many names. Kylie. Her name was Kylie. No, he told, he Kylie Minogue. No, she said it was Kylie. Last name was that. Like, Minogue. Was that it then? Kylie Minogue. No one Kylie Minogue, the living legend. She's smart. Uh, she's a gift. Yeah, she's. I love Kylie. She is definitely a gift. She has got something about she's her. Oh, thank God. Here, come on. The bus almost just left us. Oh my God, thank God you stopped. Come on. Charleston West. I what? can't see you, but you can see me. Well, I didn't oh, see yeah. you. Huh? I didn't see you. Normally they you, normally they look to see if people this, are sitting. You can't miss this one. Yeah, normally they look to see if people are sitting. Right, well, you need you need to look for the bus okay. when you're waiting on it. Okay. I I don't I don't know. She, she if it was really sad because she said, "Why don't you go home and eat?" And I said, "Honestly, I pr I might. I think I'm going to." And then she like started like snuggling with me, or like or like hu hugging up on me. And guys, like watching rewatching this, I don't know. I don't want to sound like ridiculous, but. Addiction's a beast, and it it is so fucking sad. Like, sure, it's funny to, like, it's absurd, and it was so shocking that it was happening to me. I, like, was laughing at it in the moment, but, like, as I'm editing this, it's really sad. I hope I see her again. If I do, I will give her a hug, even though she literally grabs my face. I, I, I didn't film it because she, like, starts snuggling up on me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I don't want to, like, her to get angry if she sees I'm filming. So I put my phone down, but then she grabbed my face, and puckered her lips, and I was like, oh my god. I said, oh my god, I'm gay. And, haha, <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> where are you going? Is it where the mom? Why? Oh, okay. You never heard of Kylie Minogue? No, she said her last name was Heeman. She told you her last name was Heeman? No. Heeman. No, Minogue. No, Heeman. Heeman? Minogue. She told me that. But, um, I had a Great. Mom, I think she lied. I named a sub to bear those license. I named it Autumn. Wow. But I'm going to tell Tim that. Yeah. Exactly. Tell her that it was Mano. <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> Kylie Mano. She's a legend. She said you were the one brother that was her brother. She was a blonde, only brother. Really? I was oh, Kylie Mano's brother? 
No, I'm uh -huh. saying she's not Guys, oh my god, look how dirty her hands are. Oh my god. And she grabbed both my cheeks, puckered her lips, and tried to force me to kiss her. Like I said, I was just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's such a hard thing because, like, she probably doesn't have... She probably doesn't get to talk to many people without them being mean to her. So I wanted to be nice. Ha! <laughs> Um, and I also got her on the bus for free. Uh, I, I don't know. It, 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 it's just a really... This world is sad. Uh, it just really is sad. This is a gift. I hear you, though. I need to borrow from any day where I go. It's today's Thanksgiving, man. Today's Thanksgiving, yeah. Why don't you go home and eat? I'm gonna one day. Aw, oh, you're scared. And guys, that was the moment that I said, I really need to stop filming because I do not want to upset this woman. I was like, oh my God. And the part that made me so sad is that like she hugged me, like looking back on it, she hugged me because she's like, I want to go home and eat. And that's fucking depressing. Um, you're going to hear me talk about her grabbing my face and, and trying to get me to, ki to kiss her. And she literally says, you were only scared of yourself when I said you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> you startled me. I wasn't prepared for that. Not a smooch on the lips. It scared me. I'm yeah. scary. Startled. Why you scared yeah. yourself? No. Yeah. Um, older I don't think so. so. Kylie Minogue. Debbie. You want to? I'm going to take bars for you. I'm going to take bars for you. I'm going to take bars Oh my god. Where did she get Cheetos? That woman literally followed me onto the bus. She did not pay a bus pass, and she tried to kiss me. Oh my god! Oh my god! She literally like grabbed my face and tried to smooch. Coach Bruce, what the fuck? I want to die. My life right now is too much, guys. It really is. She literally grabbed my face and tried to kiss me. Oh my god. I like don't want to like stick anybody on the bus, but I really hate public transport. Crazy. Yeah, guys, that was like too much. I don't know. I'm not gonna like move my feet, but it, that was just too much to literally oh, grab my face oh. and and kiss me, I... I know you like too, I see you everywhere, huh? There's just something about public transport and the people I see really early in the morning. It's the fucking worst. It's just scary. Like, the, I mean, the Kylie Minogue part was obviously funny. I'll probably put this as a bonus clip in Kylie Minogue Saturday or something, but everything else, it's just like, what the fuck? And that's the... Uh, life I'm dealing with at the moment. It's crazy. Really sad. Her hands were 79 shades darker than the rest of her body because they were so dirty. I was like, girl, let me give you a bath. Like, I had a job where I actually gave a woman a bath. I had to bathe her. Her name was Cindy. I miss her. That I was like her nurse. Um, but like, I wasn't very helpful because like, she needed a driver, and let me tell you guys, she drove drunk. She would just drive with a box of wine. I was It was only for like a month or two, two months or so. Um, I literally have videos of her 
dancing to Lana Del Rey. Haha, <laughs> we were playing, I'm gonna put it right here. We were dancing to Lana Del Rey, literally swaying and shaking her ass to Lana Del Rey. I had to shower this woman. Um, and like, I've had a wild, wild fucking life. I'm not, like I have brain cancer, all these other crazy things. It's been an insane journey. But this week, it's just been crazy. And like that woman with the dirty hands, like the one, she literally grabbed my face with her dirty fucking hands. I was so scared. I was like, I'm gonna get zits. Oh my God, I started having panic fever. Her hands were filthy. She grabbed my face and started puckering her lips after I said that I was gonna go home and, and get myself dinner, or go home and have Thanksgiving dinner or whatever the fuck she was talking about. And um, she wanted to come and that's, like, like I'm not gonna make fun of her. I did film her like shaking, falling body because I was just like, what is this? I only filmed it after she grabbed my face and like tried to like make out with me. I don't know what that was. It was just, it, it's fucking sad. This world is disgusting. And this all happened just in this one week. And then there's one lady, the last lady, this is the first lady, so it's like I'm going backwards in time. Uh, the first lady, crazy, she like was like, like talking to herself and like mumbling things. And she literally said, don't tell me what the fuck to do. That's like telling Betty Crocker how to bake a cake. And honestly, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. But listen to how she spoke to herself. You're not arresting me. You want to stop me from being a woman. I arrested you. It's really sad. I'm not going to prison. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't kill anyone. No, I didn't. I never killed a soul. I didn't kill anyone. Uh, I'm having the judges and the lawyers and the cops and all of you enslaved. No, I'm not getting off. Shut everything down and kill us all. You're not getting away with it, bitch. Africa, Nego, get in here. <laughs> I hate my life! I'm getting rid of you today! Oh, look at that are affecting my life and stop directing me, you're not an educated scientist. I can't do that anymore. That's like telling Betty Parker how to make a cake. Better than I can. Mark, I've been in the park. And yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. I always press in it. At the U.S. bench all the time. I, at everywhere. I'm the rest her. For defamation of character, arrest them. Defamation of my character. That I know. That was the This is really sad. It was, it was really, really sad. I have a lot of footage of, of all this shit that happened this week. I don't know if I'll be able to even fit it, fit it in all the timestamp slow mode of me doing stuff. Because, guys, it's been a crazy fucking week. I live in the hood. I have to ride public transport. Like, I've been slapped by homeless people. Like, like this guy threatening to beat me up just happened the other day when, I, when walking to work. I was nowhere near you. You started flapping your, your fingers. Eyes fucking open. My eyes were open. Walking right in the back. I was absolutely walking on the sidewalk. If you have an issue, get off the sidewalk. Oh, if I get off the sidewalk. Yeah, go okay. fuck yourself. Rule number 13. Never beat I don't care. Numbers, you know, Leave people up. alone. I, I have brain cancer. You want to beat me up? Oh, I'm a disabled on, person man. living with brain cancer. Really? You want to beat me up? I, gonna go through I have brain cancer. 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 You want to beat me you up? Go no, Is that I what you not. want? Okay, then I leave me alone. The then go place. fuck yourself. You then go fuck yourself. Have a great day. Have a great day, fuck face. Have a great day, fuck face. Have a good day, fucker. Ugh. I, I didn't get to film that full encounter, but uh, <laughs> I was on my phone on the sidewalk. Dude's like 10 feet away from me. He like runs up to me and starts snapping his finger. I said, what the fuck is your problem, psycho? And then that's what happened. <laughs> I just hate people, oh my God, guys. I hate living on my own and having to walk and be a bus riding bitch. <laughs>
the life I'm living now in this era is so much. It's too much in this ERA era. It's too fucking much for me. I'm too disabled for this. And I will throw out I have brain cancer. You want to beat me up? Beat me up. He literally, he literally said, don't do this to someone you know you can beat up or whatever the fuck he said. Like, what are you talking about? Ew. This fucking world. And guys, encounters like that have happened so many times. It's so fucking creepy. <laughs> for context, just in case I didn't explain it, I literally almost just got accosted by some hostile psycho on the streets of Las Vegas where it's 110 degrees outside because I had to look at my phone to use my GPS to know where I was going. Motherfucker, leave me alone. Ew, what is wrong with these dudes out here? They're gross. I've had so many encounters like that happen, guys. I don't always film it, but this time I was like, screw it. I'm gonna take out my camera and film you being a dumbass. It's happened time after time after time. I've been slapped by homeless dudes before. If you wanna see it, tell me. Maybe maybe this will be a public freakouts for your disabled brain cancer having beefy girl because it's been this year it's been crazy <laughs> that threat that homeless guy or who knows if he was homeless but that guy threatened to beat me up because i was on my phone using a gps to walk down the sidewalk i wasn't riding a bike i wasn't driving on my phone i was fucking walking and this psycho was like 10 feet away from me and he just like runs up and starts snapping his fingers. And I said, what the fuck is your problem, psycho? Like, like, like people, people used to always say when I used to do my GTA five streams, my Friday the 13th live streams, that like, I, you would never talk that way to someone in person. And it's like, really? Do you really think I'm gonna be disrespected? And no, I don't expect like, I'm not gonna raise hands and fucking fight people, but don't disrespect me because you're an asshole. I'm not gonna be treated like shit because you're a douchebag. So, like, yeah, Madam has a mouth, guys. That's just the truth. But, I don't know. It's been a very, very tiring week, a very exhausting week. I gotta go home. I gotta rush up this video. Hopefully I can get it up for Sunday. And then I gotta be at work. I gotta leave for work at five in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna have more of these videos probably coming every week. And realistically, with my schedule being this early in the morning and, and as much as the strange shit that I've been seeing, expect lots of videos like this, updates on the bus, because it's just been this one week. And this has been my first week of like riding this bus route. That's the only reason all this shit happened in this one week, because it's just been one week of doing this. Guys, imagine a whole year. Imagine the content I'm gonna get. So I'm very excited. Make sure that you're subscribed to your BP bitch, because Crazier shit is gonna continue happening. And I, I just am so afraid of how I'm gonna survive. Ha, <laughs> the bus, the stabbing this morning, the girl in her fucking car, trying to like get away from her boyfriend, almost killing him. He fell out of the car. I was calling her a dumb bitch, all these other things. Like the stabbing on the bus, the crazy lady, the woman trying to kiss me. It's been a hard, fucking weak and I'm not seeking sympathy but for a disabled brain cancer having bitch I don't have a memory to, worth a fuck I could barely I barely I get lost walking up and down a straight street how does that make sense walking up and down I am a mentally deficient melted minded moron and I've had a hard life really hard life and this week has been a testament to that it's been a very hard week but I'm ready to share more of these adventures with you. Tell me, did you subscribe? Tell me, are you gonna share this channel with your friends? Maybe this video will, will get shared with your friends because guys, what a crazy fucking week. I really need to figure out how to post some of these videos on TikTok, so if anyone knows how, tell me because it's just been my first week of this bus route. What are the others gonna be like? Like, I can't even imagine what some of the other shit. It's just been one week, not even a full week. It's just been like five or six days. What the hell? It's crazy. I can't, I can't mentally, physically, emotionally, or psychologically prepare myself for what the future's gonna hold. But you know I'm excited to share it with you because I need content like this. I do. Can I be honest? I don't wanna sound like a, like a broken record but I have been trying for so fucking long to get popular online and do things. And like when I was, before my brain cancer diagnosis, I like was able to grow so easily. I grew to like 16 or 17,000 subscribers in a blink. 
Um, and I just, I have now it's been what seven or eight years later, I've only been able to grow like 12,000. Of course, realistically, yes, th 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 that is with me losing all of like the game. I used to only do gaming on my channel. That is me lo losing probably a majority of my gaming subscribers and having to regain subs. So it's not, it's not like I'm sure I've gained more, but, but you know what I mean? It's been crazy. Oh my God, look at the hummingbird. I don't even know if you can see her. Oh, you can. No, you can't. You couldn't, you know, I don't think you even saw her, but she's pretty and she's out here damn flapping her fucking wings. Um, but I love you. I'm going to get a haircut, hopefully, uh, if I can afford it next week. I'm happy I paid my rent. Of course, I didn't pay my credit card bills. I'm panicking. I'm freaking the fuck out. But mommy's going to continue fighting for the future. And if anything, and if, any, if anything happens on the way home, I will show you. But talk about a crazy week. Am I right? But. I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and follow your bitch on Twitch. I am trying so hard not to be such a messy cunt or to be a little more appropriate. I'm trying very hard not to be a messy madam. And please make sure you subscribe. And like I said, follow your bitch on Twitch. And also please leave a comment. I respond to every single comment, or at least I do my best to respond to every single comment. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you very, very soon. Love you.